Hi guys, it's James here from Optics Warehouse, your night vision and hunting specialist. And today I'm here to talk to you about our Vanguard range of tripods. I have the Endeavour 303 to either side of me. To my left, I have the carbon version. And to my right, I have the aluminium version. As you can see, what I have done is set them up in two different configurations. We will go through each configuration individually, but just to give you an overall uh, overall premise of these uh, of these tripods, I'll just gonna show you exactly what they, uh, they do entail. So like your standard peg saddle tripod, you have an adjustable sort of top on there, uh, adjustable sort of peg saddle there with a nice quick release lever on there that you can easily adjust to. Big wheel on the side so you can adjust the width as well, depending on obviously what your rifle may be. Maybe that be obviously like a big sort of Picatinny style or maybe it's a more traditional sort of hunting style. Three stage adjustable legs as you do on, on both of these models, as I say, being the aluminium and the carbon ones. Nice big rubber grip handle on there. And of course, you've got the option of rubber or spike feet as well. You can just unscrew or screw them on there. You can actually take the head off if you wanted to, and then have, of course have like a sort of like a standard 3 8 or different various other attachments if you wanted to. But as I say, these ones are in the pig saddle configuration. On the top, and I'll go through this in just a second, there is a, there is a bubble level on there, so you get a nice flat level, and there is a sort of push button on the side, which allows you to then really extend your leg out to various different distances, uh, different uh, heights, I should I say, and then that just simply clicks back in where I can lean it back like that, or I can just click that back in, and it comes back to where it was before. So it gives you the various different options there. So we'll just have a look at this one first, and we'll just go through, or oh, a bit more, the actual top bits, just, to, just so you can see them in a bit more detail. Okay, so let's just have a look at the pig saddle configuration of the actual tripod itself. As you can see, you've got this nice sort of rubberized inside so you can put a multiple of different rifles in there. As I said before, big, big, nice wheel on there so you can feel for it in the dark if you need to. And of course, you can swivel this around, making it ambidextrous as well. What I will just show you is this lever here on the side. So if I just get that one there, and you can see that one there. I uh, say so this lever here, you very simply, you can move that in and out and that, that either locks in the sort of the ball head you've got in the tight there. If I really sort of tighten that one up, there you go, that's not going anywhere. And what I do like about it is you can actually pull this one out. So I'll just show you there, pull this one out and then move it around to a different position. Should it be in the way, say, of like one of these lugs, for example, or should it just be a bit easier for you to just sort of tighten up or loosen? So there you go. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flick that one up to the top Bit of an easier fulcrum there for me to get on my left for my left hand i can just loosen that there and i've got full free range movement of that pan nice smooth movement on this sort of ball head style that allows me to be quite versatile and give me a good range of when i actually want to put put a rifle on top as i mentioned a second ago you've got this sort of three stage here whereas if i push that in as you can see that lever will go up into the second groove or into the third groove and that allows me to then really stretch the capabilities of the actual tripod itself so it could actually go down to a sort of seated position if i wanted to so now what i'll do is just have a look at it the, the tripod actually a bit further out i'm gonna actually get a rifle on top just to show you exactly the sort of style that you're going to be uh, going to be dealing with okay so now let's have a look at a bit more in depth of the actual the actual um, tripod itself. As I said, you've got sort of three stage there, so you can have three different lengths uh, from the actual tripod. As you saw in the back of the truck, it was quite low, and that's obviously quite a, quite a shallow bit from the top of the canopy down to the base of the bed. Whereas here, I've got it sort of a mid-range. I'm not the tallest of people, so this isn't necessarily going to be as high as possible. What I did want to show you is just the versatility. So if I just loosen that one off, bring that all the way around. Um, me, myself, I'm obviously, I am uh, right-handed, so of course I will have the dial on the other side. Here I have my trusty Tika T3X and 204. I've got a nice Schmidt and Bender mounted on the top, top of it today. And very simply, all you do is say, tighten that one up. Up there, and there you go. There you go, I'm still away from that now, and you can see the full range of movement I've actually got with the rifle there. I say I've got a bit of, bit of obviously, cant there as well bit of pan so I can bring it left and right and whatnot and it's easy enough for me to then just simply just say right okay there's my target and then all I'll do is I'll just simply tighten that one up there you go and I'll say pull that one out if I need to bring it there and there you go she's not going anywhere nice steady as a rock there um so nice lightweight tripod this being the aluminium one so the carbon even lighter even nicer on the hands when it comes to winter so you don't have to carry around a cold set of tripods a uh, cold cold tripod sorry but as i say as you can see here standard sort of hunting rifle on top of the actual tripod itself nice and easy to use out in the field and very adjustable for very uh, variable different heights of people as i say me and myself not the tallest person only five foot ten so you can see it's um it's still a little bit high for me here but i say you've still got a lot of river movement there say if you are say six foot six or if you happen to be uh say like sort of five foot ish but as i say 
there you go nice and versatile for a different sort of a uh, different sort of hunting rifles there on there so there you go there are the vanguard endeavor 303 tripods um fantastic piece of pieces of kit uh, especially when there are other sort of tripods on the market but i think these are certainly more versatile rather than just uh, being quite a big bulky piece of kit i think these are more for that hunting aesthetic and feel certainly having used them out in the field as well and as you saw when i did put a rifle on there how easy it was just to set up and away you go as always guys if you've got any questions don't forget to like comment and subscribe or if you want drop us an email drop us a phone call we're more than happy to help you wherever we can but i hope you enjoyed the video i've been james your night vision hunting specialist and this has been another video from optics warehouse